Supreme Court reserve judgment on 2022 Electoral Act. President Buhari depart Abuja for AU summit in Equatorial Guinea. And 11 babies die in Senegal Hospital Bless. I am Abu Bakr Yahya. Ahead of the primary elections of the ruling All Progressive Congress APC and the Opposition People's Democratic Party PDP, former President Golo Jonathan has expressed disappointment in the National Assembly signing the laws being made by the current lawmakers appear to target individuals rather than work for the good of the country. Speaking in Abuja at the official presentation of the book Political Party Governance, written by a former Minister of State for Power, Mohammed Wakil. Dr. Jonathan said political parties must be allowed to adopt their own process of selecting and electing their candidate. He also berated those calling on President Muhammad Buhari to sign the amendment from act for being ignorant of due process in the office of the president. The former president comment comes at a time when pressures have been turned up to have President Buhari give assent to the amendment to current section 84 subsection 8 which avails delegate the opportunity to vote at the indirect primaries and national convention of political parties. The Supreme Court has reserved judgment in a suit filed by President Muhammad Buhari and the Attorney General of the Federation seeking an interpretation of Section 84, Subsection 12 of the Electoral Act 2022. The seven-man panel led by Justice Mohamed Datijo says the dead will be communicated to the parties involved in the suit. The appeals court arrived at this conclusion after taking argument from parties and adopting their processes. At the proceedings on Thursday, the ruling All Progress, the All Progressive Grand Alliance APGA and the Nigerian Bar Association brought an application seeking to be joined as interested parties. Abga, however, opted out by withdrawing its application for joinder, which was subsequently struck out by the Apex Court. The NBA, however, stood firm in insisting that Nigerians do not have representation in the suit. That is why it was opted to join the matter. And away from court, the Federation Account Allocation Committee FAC has shared a total sum of 636. 0.602 billion naira April 2022 Federation account revenue to the federal government, state, and local government councils. This was contained in a communique issued at the end of a virtual meeting of the Federation Account Allocation Committee for May 2022. The 656.602 billion naira total distributable revenue comprised the distributable statutory revenue of 461.189 billion naira distributable value at a tax revenue of 166.522 billion naira the sum of 8.891 billion naira being excess bank charges recovered and augmentation of 20 billion naira in april 2022 the total deductions for cost of collection was 29.609 billion naira and total deductions for transfer and refund was 147.651 billion naira the balance in the excess crude account esc was 35.377 million dollars and then for State Governor Abdullah Mohammed Matole has called on the military to persist in taking the battle to the bandit doorsteps as a major panacea to the lingering insurgency in the state. Governor Matole made the suggestion when he received a visiting team from Army War College of Nigeria who were on a study visit to the Operation Hadrin Daji in Zamfara State. Matole was of the opinion that if the military adopt total proactive measures, the issue of banditry in the state will soon become a history. How he, however, acknowledged that the military is overstretched and also in need of more modern equipment at the moment. He, however, advised that retired military officers be re-engaged re rather into the service while the government further pursue its laudable effort at acquiring more modern equipment to address insecurity in the country. 
The governor, while further commending the effort of the military in the state over the years, assured members of the Army War College said he will continue to give his utmost support toward their operations until peace is restored in Zamfara State and the country as a whole. And the news is reaching you live from Progress Radio 97.3 FM Gombe. You can listen to us live on our website at www.progressradio.ng or tune in application. You can also follow our Facebook page or YouTube Progress Radio TV Gombe to watch the news live. President Muhammad Buhari depart Abuja to participate in the African Union Extraordinary Session of Assembly of Head of State and Government in Malabo, Equatorial Guinea. A statement by the Senior Special Assistant to the President on Media and Publicity, Gerber Shehu, says that this year's summit will be focusing on security. And President Buhari joined other Head of State and Government to deliberate on humanitarian challenges, hopes and challenges in Africa and participate in the adoption of the Assembly Declaration of Humanitarian Summit and the Pledging Conference. On security and governance, the Assembly of Head of State and Government of the African Union will take a united position on terrorism and unconstitutional change of government and reach agreement on new approaches to stem the tide. President Buhari will also hold satellite meetings with some leaders during the meeting in Malabo. The suspended duty commissioner police Abakari has filed a motion requesting the court to revisit his bail application. The application for the review dated May 12, 2022 was filed by his counsel Dr. Onyachi Pazu SAN at a federal high court sitting in Abuja. He says it is predicted on the predicated rather on the ground that Abakari's life is under threat. You know, Lord, with the court to consider the bill in the interest of justice and to save his client life from being cut short. He, however, however, the prosecution counsel Joseph Mbona opposed the application that he had not been served a copy of the application but only got a wine of it in the open court. He also cited section 306 of the administration of criminal justice and 15. Of law. Credibility of political party delegates have been said to be the first step to quality leadership in the country. The assertion was made by public affairs 